everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I just really like to do this. But in today's video, we're gonna be talking about eight flattering clothing tricks and rules that every woman and girl should know. That was a mouthful. But I really think that this is gonna be a good video and you're gonna be able to take so much away from this and apply it to your everyday wardrobe life. You can thank me later. Ooh, if you wanna thank me now though, you could consider subscribing. If you happen to be new, I have more tricks down, down these sleeves. They're down there. There's a lot in here. So I have more coming your way. But if you end up liking this video, you could give it a thumbs up too. The YouTube algorithm really likes that. So do I. Let's get started. So the very first thing that we're talking about, not really surprising if you've watched my channel in the past, is butts. I don't even know why. I don't even really like butts, but I keep talking about them. But anyway, this point has to do with jeans and pockets. The pocket placement on your butt. You really wanna pay attention to that because it really makes a big difference. So I'm gonna show you two different butts. Both of them are my butt. We've got one butt <laughs> and a pair of jeans that the pocket placement is very far, far to the outer side. It doesn't look good. It actually makes my butt look too big. And I know, I know, big butts are a thing. So actually you could, you, if you want a big butt, you could actually go opposite of what I'm saying, but hear me out. So if it's too much to the side, it just looks a little un, proportionate or disproportionate actually. Uh, so just be mindful of that when you're actually purchasing jeans. Hold up the jeans and be like, do those pockets look correct? So here's another pair of jeans where the pocket placement is perfection. You want pocket perfection. <laughs> um, these pockets are much closer to the center of my butt. They actually frame my butt. This is a very odd point. However, they're just flattering. It's all about flattering. That is what you want. Now, since we're on the topic of jeans and pants, and I promise not all of my points have to do with butts or pants or jeans, but you really also want to analyze your jeans or your pants to get the perfect sweet spot. A lot of these points have to do with finding the right sweet spot. So when it comes to pants, you want your pants or your jeans to be the correct length. You don't want any wrinkling at the bottom. That is what I see on so many people and it just doesn't flatter the legs whatsoever. So again, here's an example of one pair of jeans that it's just too long. They're just too long. And I either have to wear them wrinkled at the bottom or I have to roll them up at the bottom. And some people do like to roll their jeans, but I do think that it kind of cuts off your leg and isn't the most flattering of a look. So I really recommend when you try on your jeans, you want your jeans to not gather at the bottom at all. Now, you also have to consider what pair of shoes you plan on wearing with these pants. So I know this is, this is, this is very complicated. This is scientific. So scientific. <laughs> so for these flared jeans, I bought them and I purchased mm. them knowing that I would be wearing heels with flared jeans because I just think that flares always look the best with a pair of high heels. So in this situation, they definitely wrinkle at the bottom if I wear flats, but that's not my intention. My intention is to wear heels with them. And in that case, they look great. So in that last point, I talked about finding the sweet spot. And I'm going to continue on with that point. Only this time it's called the cinch spot. It's all about finding the correct placement. Now, we all kind of have problems with this because our belt loops are very low. And so we just have this tendency to put our belts and our cinches lower, but really you wanna try and bring it up if possible. So in this next example, <laughs> I am gonna show you uh, the correct cinch placement and how much of a difference it can make. So take it away, Shay. Thank, Thank you. you. Hey. hey. She was talking to me. No, she was talking to me. Anyway, clearly, hopefully you can see that this looks better than that. So do this. You wanna cinch your waist at the smallest part of your, of your waist. This is the natural hourglass look. And that, um, it, it works. It's, it's just not as good. I kind of agree, that is better. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, back to you, Shay. <laughs> the next thing that I want to talk about is sleeves that are too big or too short. When we try on blouses, when we try on blazers, cardigans, tops of any kind, um, we, we always pay attention to the way they fit, which is, I mean, that's what this video is about. Flattering fit, like making sure things look good. Uh, but sometimes the sleeves 
are forgotten myself included. I am very bad about this. So I have many examples to show you. Uh, what you want to pay attention to is the sleeve hitting you just below the wrist bone. You want to show off your beautiful hands um, or ooh, maybe they're too high up. Maybe you're showing too much wrist. Oh, you don't want to show too much wrist. You want it just right there at that sweet spot, the wrist sweet spot. And if it's too long, too short, the entire thing is ruined. It doesn't look good. It looks too big or too small, even if it looks perfect everywhere else. And so, yeah, just pay attention to that because clearly I haven't. The next trick that you should pay attention to is not purchasing shirts that are just too long because that makes your torso look really long as well. And it cuts off your legs and makes your legs look short and stumpy and nothing against short legs, but just we want, that kind of leads me to my next point. I'm just gonna, you know what? I'm just gonna jump to my next point, which is knowing your proportions. So if you have a really long torso, you don't want to wear a really long shirt because that's just going to accentuate it. So if you have a really long torso, maybe wear a shorter shirt and then high waisted jeans and then your proportions are magically correct. Or maybe you have a really, really short torso and crazy long legs. I mean, that could be good. Uh, but if that's not what, if you just feel like you're a little bit off, then go for the longer shirt and maybe low waisted jeans. So it, it, it's really, again, about illusions. You can really kind of manipulate the way you look and feel, feel good about yourself based on the clothes and, and you're the proportions that, that you go for. So um, I always talk about high-waisted jeans. I love them, but maybe for your body type, they might not be the best. So just consider your proportions and work some magic that way. The next flattering clothing trick that you should always remember has to do with fabrics. So consider your fabrics because they can make a big impact on the way you look. So for example, I am wearing this very cozy, warm and fuzzy textured, and that's the key, it's very textured sweater. Uh, and, and this texture will always make you look a little bit bigger than you really are. Maybe that's a good thing, maybe that's a bad thing, but it definitely does that to the eye. And then another thing to consider is patterns. So really, really large patterns are very easy to see with the eye. And so the eye can really focus on that and it has a tendency to make you again, look a bit bigger than you are because the pattern is really big. Whereas very, very small patterns, very busy patterns confuse the eye and that kind of hides you a bit. The eye can't really focus and so it actually makes you appear smaller. So I'm showing the example here with uh, a larger leopard pattern versus a smaller leopard pattern. And I totally realize that the, the shirts themselves are completely different, um, but it's all about the size of the pattern and confusing the eye. The next trick <laughs> or rule actually, I don't ever have a problem with, but I'm gonna somehow manage to find you an example and kind of manipulate it so that you see it. That has to do with don't let your buttons pop out. I don't have that problem like I said, but I still see it all of the time. So basically what it means is button down blouse, classic pieces, many people have them in your closet, but sometimes you're a little too large in the, this area and so the buttons start to pop out. Don't do that. Buy a shirt that's bigger, that's really your only option. We don't wanna have surgery or, I mean, I guess you could if you have back problems. I don't know, wow, I'm getting into weirdness here. Just consider this and I wrote it down because I see it so much. When I see things a lot in public, I'm like, hmm, I could include this in a video. So this is that. So don't let your buttons pop out. That's the end of the video. We're here, I made it to the end. If you liked it, consider subscribing. I would love to have you back. Like I said, I have more tricks up my sleeves. Thanks for watching. I'll link here some other videos very similar to this that really help your outfit, could ruin your outfit, trends, just lots of stuff. So I'll see you in one of these videos. Bye.